Amateur radio, or ham radio as it's often called, enables its participants to use licensed shortwave frequencies to communicate with other hams around the world. For added fun, many hams enjoy contests to see how many other hams they can contact in one day. These contests, held several times each year, allow entrants to improve their operating skills. In July 2014, the world's top radio contesters will converge on the Northeast United States for the 7th World Radio Sport Team Championship, or WRTC. Using simple and equal antennas, these two operator teams will compete to contact as many stations as they can in as many countries as possible. This event promises to bring together the best of the best in radio contesting and showcase all that New England has to offer in summer. The first WRTC was held in Seattle back in 1990. The idea was to enable teams to compete from one geographic region ensuring a true sporting atmosphere and neutralizing the variables of location, time, and weather. Since those first games, WRTC has been held in San Francisco, Slovenia, Finland, Brazil, and most recently, Russia. Each new host has continued the on-site team aspects while adding its own special flavor to WRTC with modified rules, updated judging procedures, and new technical boundaries. Returning to the United States after 18 years, WRTC 2014 will be the largest and most challenging event ever. With good signal propagation to the ham radio population centers of both Europe and North America, New England makes an ideal host location for the next WRTC. The city of Boston provides excellent tourist facilities, international air connections, and extensive hotel options while the surrounding area's rich history and regional charm will ensure a great summer experience for all visitors. WRTC is, in essence, a contest within a contest. Held during the 24-hour worldwide IARU HF Championship, 59 teams of two operators each compete under a special set of rules that ensure equal terrain, antenna, and output power levels. The objective is to eliminate all location and equipment advantages and focus instead on experience, strategy, and skill. This all-star game concept is designed to unveil the top talent within the amateur radio contesting community and demonstrate what can be achieved with modest antennas and limited hardware. But getting one of the coveted operating slots at this event is not easy. The world has been divided into qualifying regions that are carefully balanced to represent both geography and contesting activity. Operators wishing to qualify for one of the WRTC 2014 teams must submit contest scores from the three years prior to the event, and only those with the highest aggregate scores from selected contests will be chosen to represent their region of the world. In addition to 51 main teams, there will also be eight special teams selected in order to provide a more diverse set of competitors. These include the defending champions from WRTC 2010, a youth team, four sponsored teams, and two wild cards. WRTC is much more than just a competition. It's an opportunity for great operators to meet each other, often for the first time after years of contacts over the radio. It's also a chance for radio amateurs within New England to interact with some of the top operators from around the globe and to demonstrate the international appeal of amateur radio to a wider audience. Combined with the 100th anniversary of the ARRL, America's National Association for Amateur Radio, WRTC 2014 promises to be one of the year's highlights for amateur radio. WRTC is being organized by a private group of passionate amateur radio operators. Like any sporting event, WRTC needs both financial and logistical support. We hope to gather as many regional contesters and non-contester radio amateurs within New England to assist in this huge undertaking. Donations of any amount are welcome, and only with your support can we make this event a success. Details of how you can contribute or help as a volunteer can be found on our website at wrtc2014.org. WRTC 2014, bringing the contesting world to New England.